Glide up to the top of Bamp's beautiful Sulphur Mountain with me on a smooth gondola ride where we can check out the majestic views of the Rocky Mountains. Except there are no views because tragedy is unfolding in the province next door. Stay tuned to learn more. We slipped away for a weekend in Banff, our first getaway of the summer. One thing we really wanted to experience was the Banff gondola, which our son had never been on and our daughter was too young to remember. While walking downtown, we found a random free bus to get us there. We have stumbled on a free shuttle to the Banff gondola, so rather than driving there and worrying about parking, we're just getting a free ride down. It was actually a regularly scheduled shuttle, which helps reduce parking chaos at the gondola site. You can find its schedule and all other gondola-related info on the Banff Gondola website, which I'll link in the description box below. We've made it to the Banff Gondola with about 20 minutes to spare thanks to the free shuttle. Because we're so early, we're gonna do a little hiking along these paths that they have just beside the gondola. Then it was our turn to climb inside and head up to the top of Sulphur Mountain. Everyone should buy tickets in advance to ensure your time slot. Tickets are easy to purchase online. Oh window. guys, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, trails that lead to the top of Sulphur Mountain if you choose to avoid paying for the gondola and want to hike up instead. There's an interpretive center at the top and a boardwalk trail that leads to Sanson's Peak. There's so much to do just on top of a mountain. And there's, I can see the hotel. Can you see the castle? There's the hotel. Look how big that is. The gondola takes you on a one mile track to the top of Sulphur Mountain at an elevation gain of 2,292 feet or 698 meters. Some points feel very high from the ground. The tallest section is around Tower 2, where the gondola hovers 125 feet above the ground. The entire ride lasts about 8 minutes. Locks in. Wow. The fires that were raging in our neighboring province of British Columbia at the time were not only causing horrible destruction there, but sending plumes of smoke our way. It seemed like the whole world was on fire looking out the mountains that day. We were at the top, ready to see the sights, explore the interpretive center, and go on a little walk. Now can we hike that? No! Watch this part, Parker. Go into a tunnel like Batman. Woo! Whee! The end of the trail, right? Buddy? Yeah, we did it! 
The interpretive center is really well done and newly renovated since we last visited. It teaches guests about all things Rocky Mountains, including the wildlife, survival skills, geological history, atmospheric phenomenon, and tons more. Enjoying touching the poop? Yes, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can figure out. Yeah. Look at the size of this. Parker, this is oh. so push the light against the white hair. They're huge. So smoky. We are gonna walk on the boardwalk parker all the way up to the very Tippy tippy top of that peak. Right up there. At the very top of Sulphur Mountain, beyond the gondola, the smoke surrounding us became even more astounding. We're headed on the Sulphur Mountain boardwalk, which takes us from Sulphur Mountain in the gondola station up to the top of Samson Peak. It's a really well done boardwalk, nice and smooth, lots of easy, easy steps, like six or seven steps at a time. So your downward slope and your upward slope aren't so bad, so you don't get so out of breath. Parker and Joey went downhill because the path splits into two and Abby went uphill. So I'm following my daughter since she's alone. I found her, lone little solitary figure in pink. Hello Pooks, are we going to the top? Wait for me, I'm out of shape. I finally caught up to her and we trekked the last bit together to the top of Sanson's Peak. There's not too much at the top of the peak which is still technically a part of Sulphur Mountain. There is an old weather station built there, but you can't go in. And the peak also used to have Canada's highest elevation cosmic ray station, but that was disassembled back in 1981. Right now, you basically just hike all the way up there to enjoy the fantastic views. We made it to the top, we found a really fat chipmunk that almost bit my toe, and now we are headed all the way back down. We caught a ride back down on the gondola. Hikers who walked all the way up Sulphur Mountain can also opt to take the gondola down too. They just have to pay for a one-way ticket. Hey guys, 
guys, what did you think of that? So fun. So and fun tiring. and tiring. Are you tired, Abby? There's a lot of walking, oh, a lot of steps. So but it was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, we'll get water at the bottom. Hey, Abby, yeah. you want it a lot less calm? Do you want me to climb out and cut off the top? It was a blast to see Banff from above and float up the side of a mountain. It is a little pricey, but definitely worth it in the end. Thanks for tagging along with me on this adventure. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a big old thumbs up and share it out online. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's great to have you back on my channel. I appreciate your support. And if you are new, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube community. Help my channel grow.